Hi everybody, welcome back to A Glittery Life. Happy Saturday! It is time for a glitter report and I've got some fun favorites for you. Some stuff I haven't talked about recently and some new stuff that I'm really loving and one of those things is this lip. I mean, what do you think about this? You know I'm like all about the vampy lip but this is like a super ombre like vampy lip. And if you want to see a tutorial for this lip, go ahead and let me know in the comments and thumbs up this video. And I can throw together a quick little tutorial on how to get this amazing lip. Okay, so what am I loving this week? Well, let me start with, I cannot stop talking about this. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop wearing it. Chanel, Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. I love it. In fact, I'm going to spray it on myself right now. Oh my gosh. It just smells so good. I love it. It just smells so much like fall and it just smells like, oh man, I don't even know what, I don't even know how to describe it. It just smells delicious. So if you are a fragrance collector and you don't have this one yet, I suggest putting it on your Christmas list because you won't be disappointed. It is so gorgeous and everywhere I go, people comment about it and ask me what I'm wearing. Okay, I've got a couple eye favorites that I want to talk to you about. Two of them are pigments, MAC Vanilla and MAC Museum Bronze pigments and I literally have been wearing these nonstop. I have been wearing vanilla so much. I've been wearing vanilla as my highlight right there, my under eye highlight. I've been wearing it on my lids. Today I have vanilla in the center of my lips uh, to really give this lip some dimension and I just cannot stop wearing it. It's such a great pigment. It's so versatile. Um, a lot of times I'll use it on my top of my cupid's bow also for a highlight. And then Museum Bronze is a really interesting color. It's very different. It is um, a very dimensional bronze, but sometimes it like pulls like an older antique gold look to it, which I also really like. And it's really fun for kind of like a really fall bronzy brown eye, which is all the rage right now. And in fact, I love mixing this with my L'Oreal Amber Rush Infallible. I have both of these on my eye today. You can, I don't know how much you can really see, but I, um, this is like my throwback product. I forgot about this product. I forgot. I was like obsessed with this earlier in the year when I got it. I couldn't stop using it. And I found it the other day and was like, oh my gosh, I forgot about that. So I've been using it all week and rediscovering how much I love these L'Oreal Infallible pressed pigments, um, and how amazing they are. So if you don't have any of these, pick these up. They're really, really great. Another eye combo that I've been really into this week is like a plummy purple eye and um, I have another throwback product for you. I've been shopping my collection and this is the Benefit cream, Creaseless Cream Shadow in Get Figgy. You can see that that has gotten a lot of use. I mean it is like well loved and let me show you what this color looks like. It is so beautiful. I love it so much. So it's like a really smoky plum and um, with kind of like a pinky gold undertone. And then I've been using it with the NYX um, Extreme Plum Purple Liner. I mean, I've been doing some other things with it too, but I just really like how this purple liner pulls in, pulls it into like a whole new dimension. Now obviously like that is not the eye look that I do, just those two right there, but I like this combo a ton. Uh, last eye product that I am obsessed with this week is my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease, Deluxe Crease Brush. And I honestly I use this brush every day. I love it. I love it just as much as some of my MAC brushes, some of my Chanel brushes, some of my crown brushes. And this is sort of like this like do it all brush and it really blows out the crease really well. I've been trying to do some cool cut crease stuff this week and this is sort of blows that out like nobody's business, especially with a little Mac texture on it um, to really like, to really just get that look that you're looking, that diffused look that you're going for. Something else that I've been loving this week is, you know, I haven't had a lot of time to do my brows this week, so I haven't really been doing them. I kind of hide them with my bangs, but I've been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow highlight. This is in Camille and it's this like awesome pinky like brow brow bone highlight and it just finishes your eye look off so well and draws attention really to like your eyes and and um, even though my bangs really cover it I still feel like it makes a difference so loving that this week. How many of you are like me and you're totally in love with your hourglass 
powder and then you forget about it and then you rediscover it and you forget about it you rediscover it that's where I'm at so I have like rediscovered dim light recently oh my gosh it's so so pretty I like basically cannot stop wearing it um it, you really can't see it because all it does is just diffuse your skin into gorgeousness um I have been using this as my setting powder uh basically for the last actually two weeks I haven't I I really am hardly using anything else. I'm like so obsessed with this right now. And then last, but, and then last, but certainly not least, I have to tell you what is on my lips. It is Mac Night Moth pencil, lip liner pencil. And that is, it is like a really dark raisin. It's so beautiful. I love it. And then I have, um, the Mac lip glass in liqueur mixed in with it and then I have Mac vanilla pigment right down the center mixed in with it for a super dimensional really gorgeous vampy lip and if you like I said if you want a tutorial on this lip just let me know and I would love to do one for you so short and sweet those are my weekly favorites Hope that was helpful. Hope you see something in there that you want to try. And I want to know what your weekly favorites are. So don't forget to leave me a comment if you want to see this lip tutorial. And also leave me a comment letting me know what you've been wearing this week or what's on your Christmas list, what, what you're getting for Black Friday, any of that kind of stuff. I just want to know. I love your comments. I love reading them. I love writing back to them. If I don't respond to your comment, it's because the new Google YouTube thing doesn't let me. But just know I read every single one of them. Have a great Saturday. Bye, y'all.